Sponsored by Audible. Jordan's messages. Well guys, we're in Florida and I thought that there would be nothing more fitting than to me have my pink flamingo cup. I love this thing. Look at this. You wanna see what's inside? It's pure blood. I drink chicken's blood, okay? You're just kidding. It's beet juice. <laughs> you guys are so gullible. Hey, gullible's written on the ceiling. Jordan, I have seen a few references to Boy Meets World on Blimey Cow. Do any of you plan on watching the new Girl Meets World where Cory and Topanga are the parents this time around? Josh came over the other day and he said, Jordan, you have to watch Girl Meets World. And I said, Josh, I'll do it for you. The exact words that I said. And so he put it on, and you know, you, if you had a certain cable and whatever, you could watch the first episode before it was released. And I saw it and I was dying laughing the whole time. There's a character on there named Farkle. Okay, and I thought he was gonna be really annoying, but I wish that I was Farkle. I am about to start college in the fall, and I'd love to know, what is the best advice you can give to a college newbie? The best advice that I could give a college newbie would be, just, if you hate a class, you, you have at least three <laughs> free skips. Use those wisely, okay? And by the second time that you say that you're sick, He's not gonna believe you, okay? So just, I would say skip on a, on a, on a Monday because then it feels like you have like a four day weekend. Those, that's always nice. Um, and then just, just be a really diligent student. Dear Jordan, guys, let me, let me just be real for you. It is at least a hundred degrees right now and I have poison ivy. So those two things do not go well together. I, pretty soon I'm gonna be completely broken out. It seems that I have fallen madly in like with someone I have never met. He makes YouTube videos and he is quite handsome. I only wish I could speak to him. I smile every single time I see his face and I can't believe how creepy I sound. How can I get his attention even though he's probably too busy to notice? P.S. It's you. My number is 615-555-5555. Hit me up. I have this friend who I always used to talk to about philosophy and history. I know that's what homeschoolers do. But now he started moving beyond that and talking to me as a friend. And it's gotten to the point where I'm never really sure if he's flirting or just being really friendly. As a guy, do you have any idea what he's doing or how I should handle it? So if he continued to talk to you about philosophical historical matters, would you think that he was flirting with you, even if he was staying up at all hours of the night to talk to you about it? Or was it like you guys were talking about historical philosophical, philosophical matters until 4 a.m. and then all of a sudden he said, hey, do you think I should have a peanut butter and jelly? And you're like, whoa, are you flirting with me? Like, I can't assess the situation, I'm confused. Well, some of you are going to college soon, freshmen, newbies, and you're and you're scared because you're you're growing old, and and then you start thinking about how you're gonna die when you get old, and then you can't go to sleep at night, and you can't get your papers done. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna go to audible.com/jordan, and you're gonna check out "Tuck Everlasting" by Natalie Babbitt. Okay, it's all about living forever. How could you not like that, okay? They have over 150,000 titles to choose from. And if you go to audible.com slash Jordan, you're gonna get a free one month trial membership along with an audiobook of your choice. Go check out Tug Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt so that you can, you can go to sleep at night. Well, I'm amazingly tired. The family is making an insane amount of noise in the house. I can barely even think. I'm sweating profusely and I'm very self-conscious about that. So don't be messy. And don't wear antiperspirant deodorant because that's gonna clog your pores and then you're just gonna have a lot of toxins in you and then you're gonna have to do a coffee anema. And that's scary, so. <laughs> Leave good messages.